Pro's Tip, proudly presented by DeBro Fishing, innovative tackle storage solutions for every venue. Learn more online. Hey guys, I'm Captain Mike, founder of Florida Sport Fishing Magazine and host of Florida Sport Fishing TV. On today's Pro's Tip, I wanted to talk to you about dolphin fishing. Right here it is, the end of July, peak dolphin season, not only across the Keys, but all throughout South Florida, the dolphin bite is on fire right now. A lot of guys just getting into dolphin fishing or having trouble, you know, catching these fish. You know, part of that is because they just don't know what lures to fish, right? And what baits to fish. It could really be perplexing. You know, it's like a giant puzzle. There's millions of different lures out there, a lot of different baits that you can be pulling. Where do you start? What do you do? You know, for the guy that's having trouble, I'm gonna tell you, listen, Rig Ballyhoo, right, is an absolute no-brainer. Rig Ballyhoo, anywhere in the spread are gonna catch a dolphin, even the bigger fish you know, are definitely gonna be more keen on those rigged ballyhoo, but sometimes you may not wanna fish the, the natural bait, maybe you can't get your hands on the natural bait, or you just wanna keep it simple, and you just wanna pull artificials, which has some advantages. Number one, with artificial lures, you control faster, okay? Because you don't have to worry about the baits washing out. So if you're in this search type of pattern where you're looking for fish in a lot of open water, artificials is often the way to go. Again, so many different lures out there, where do you start? Well, you know, I can't answer that question for you because there's a lot of different areas, a lot of different tackle, a lot of different boats, and a lot of different lures that work. But one lure in particular that I have found that's absolutely deadly, especially here across the Florida Keys, is something so simple, but yet it's incredibly effective. It's just nothing but a little chugger style lure. It has a little acrylic head. If you can see that right there, it's maybe an inch long, just a little acrylic head, but it also has some jets in that head that create a tremendous amount of smoke of, you know, a bubble trail around that bait. It's really, really incredible how much turbulence that little head creates. So it's just that concave face, four holes or so, you know, drilled in there, and it really just has a tremendous action. And that little acrylic head has a little skirt, a little squid skirt, that's my favorite color pattern right there. Hopefully you can see it, it's just like a little pink and it has some iridescent on there, some flakes, a little root beer color, really mimics the size and color of a natural squid that these dolphin are primarily feeding on. So it's a very simple lure, it's five or six inches long, it's not a giant lure, but it's incredibly effective. And there's a lot of different variations of this bait, but I'm telling you what, that right there is deadly. It's deadly anywhere in your trolling spread. And what I would say is, listen, if you're not sure what lure to fish, pull four of these, pull six of them, pull eight of them. Okay, just pull the same lure all behind the boat in different positions, off the riggers, flat lines, shotgun position, you're gonna catch dolphin on this bait no matter where in the trolling spread that it really is. We fished a rod on a 20 pound class conventional outfit. It's a Chaos KC 15 to 30, seven foot rod, rated for 15 to 30 pound line. It's matched with a 50H, a Daiwa 50H, uh, loaded, it's a Saltiga by the way, a lever drag reel with a super smooth drag, and it's loaded with 20 pound high-vis diamond line. You can see in that orange crush color right there. Really important because that high-vis line allows me to track all of my baits behind the boat. I could fish six, eight lures all behind the bait, and I could easily see that line and track my lures. So it really makes fishing multiple lines very effective. The rod is light, it's comfortable, it's got a soft tip, so it gives that bait some ability to breathe in the water and to pulse through the water, you know, through the water across the surface. That lure is gonna dive below the surface, it's gonna dissipate all of that air that it catches in the front there, create a tremendous bubble trail, and then it'll come back up and breathe. And that soft tip allows that lure to do that. So you don't wanna fish this smaller, really light lure on too heavy of a rod because you're not gonna get the action that you're looking for, okay? The leader itself 
is about four, four to six feet. That's really all that I need, okay? And I rig it on 100 pound diamond line. A Little bit of a heavier leader, but that's because elephants eat peanuts. And you never know when a 30, 40, 50 pound giant bull dolphin is gonna jump on that bait. You'll also catch tuna fish on that bait. You'll catch sailfish on that bait. Listen, everything out there eats squid, right? And you're mimicking squid in the trolling pattern. So you've got to be ready for everything. There's 600 yards of line on the reel. I've got plenty of line capacity. So even though it's a lightweight outfit, still fun for those schoolies in the three to eight pound range, but I'm ready when that larger fish decides to eat that lure as well. Really, really important. Finally, when you get on a school of fish, also I don't want you to discount the fact that you've got to have some spinning rods on the boat rigged and ready to go. And one thing that's really effective that a lot of guys often neglect or that they don't really count on, and that's poppers, okay? I can tell you when we're out there trolling and we find some debris or a well-formed weed line, I'll whip out an eight foot spinning rod, 16 pound diamond line on this spinner with just a little popper right there. This is an ocean born flying pencil. Okay, it's got a bunch of ribs on the bottom, tremendous action, it casts a country mile. Again, not very large, only four or five inches, but skipping that across the surface perfectly mimics a wounded flying fish. Okay, and that again is another primary forage species. So when I'm out there scouting, I could fish all of these squid, you know, a full pattern of these squid, six or eight lines, sometimes even more depending on the conditions, eight to 10 knots. Don't be afraid to pull these fast as long as conditions allow it. Minimum eight knots is just an ideal speed for that lure right there. And if it's glass calm, like I said, you can push it up to even 10 knots. If it's bumpy and you find that the lures are spending more time out of the water than in the water, you know, bump it down a little bit or scale back, pull the throttles back to six or seven knots, okay? So of course you're gonna have to base it on the conditions. You know, one other thing that I wanna mention real quick here is the hardware. You know, I've got this rigged with a VMC 90 Longshank Coastal Black Hook right there. It's a very, very heavy duty hook, super strong. Again, I don't want that hook to bend in any way. Uh, as far as terminal tackle, at the end of the leader, just a small 50 pound diamond ball bearing barrel swivel, right there. Diamond ball bearing barrel swivel, there it is, right there, okay? No snap, no junk, you wanna be, be as weedless as you possibly can. And the more hardware that you have on your line, the more that you're gonna risk catching weeds and being fouled up. So keep everything as streamlined and as stealthy as possible. Make sure, make sure to focus on areas where there's weed, current rips, birds, any combination of those forms of structure is like a giant neon sign saying fish right here. That's it for today. Again, it's peak dolphin season. Make sure that you get out there this weekend, employ these tips, and I guarantee you'll be a more successful angler. And remember, for additional seminars, additional tips, make sure that you log on to fsftv.com. Again, that's www.fsftv.com. Our new streaming channel, you're gonna find 300 plus instructional videos, all in a really easy to navigate video vault. Complete episodes, dozens of rigging station segments, dozens of pros tips that are gonna help you, safe boating, everything down to our captain's kitchen section where we'll even teach you how to cook what you catch. So thanks again, get out there, and I look forward to seeing you on the water.